And the ethics are really, really challenging here because they start with cases which are unambiguously good. Like no one can argue with with these cases of um, like Nolan um, in Neuralink, the first patient who yeah. was paralyzed and is, is regaining movement or restoring sight to someone who's blind. I mean, this is fantastic. These are good things and they really are good things and they should be celebrated. The problem is that it's very easy to just extrapolate from that. And because those cases are so unimpeachable, we kind of turn a blind eye to where the ethics get a bit murky. And for me, this gets this is when we start talking about BCIs for cognitive enhancement. And if you look at the mission statement of Neuralink, that's what they're all about. It's solving clinical problems today and you know, enhancing cognition or human potential tomorrow, whatever they say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's pretty clear that that's what the intention is. And you know, the vision is we all pop down to our high street neurosurgeon, get, a, get an implant and emerge kind of newly super intelligent. Right. And I worry there's so many problems with this, with this scenario, right? I mean, it's, it's, it's hard to know even where to start. There are problems of e equality of access, of, of, um, of, of misreading the brain. I mean, just as we know that foundation models in, in language models are, are biased and that they don't, they don't represent society in, in general, if we have a foundation model trained on brain data, and there are such things, right? You can do this. You can self-supervise a foundation model from brain data. Um, but, but the biases in these models can be very, very ethically problematic. You know, you might be just as you, you're sort of forced to speak in a particular way, use a particular kind of language to get GPT to work. Imagine if you've got to learn to think in a particular way to, to get your BCI to work. So you risk kind of imposing uh, a mental monoculture, even if that's not what you set out to do. 